You asked the question, are they achievable? And I suppose my, my sense is it's not that important. I think, you know, it would be great to achieve them, but what's important mo is measuring progress mm -hmm. and the rate of progress and, and clarifying who is accountable for mm -hmm. what. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some, in some cases, a country is accountable. In some cases, many cases, increasingly, we don't know who to make accountable because they require collective action across sovereign nations. And that in itself is a huge challenge. So on women and girls, you know, you can measure it within countries over time. There are ways that can be, that can be done, and I think civil society groups, think tanks, like CGD will try to develop metrics and all mm. of that, uh, and that's progress in itself. It's more important that they're there, despite the fact that they're flawed. I see these goals as the world making a promise to itself. I mean, you know, you know, arguably the biggest promise the world has made to itself since that extraordinary set of documents in the post-1945 period that kind of went through the creation of the Bretton Woods Agreements, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and so on and so forth. This is the world making a promise to itself, and it's sort of it's sort of a wonderful thing uh, that we're seeing happen. And because we're including so many of the broader uh, aspects of human progress uh, in these uh, in these goals, you know, we're making a promise to ourselves that we're one world, one planet, one society, one people. Uh, who who look out for each other and look out uh, for how uh, uh, how we get along in the world uh, and how our one home uh, is uh, is going to be handed on to the next generation. That's a pretty big. That's a pretty wonderful thing to do. You know, that's a pretty that's a pretty wonderful thing to do. So in a way, this is the SDG document. It's kind of like. Uh, a, a, de a universal declaration of human rights for the age of metrics and data. <laughs> <laughs> That's very well put. <laughs> and it reminds me, you know, we, we work in Washington, all of us, and down the street we have the international financial institutions, and around the corner from them we have the big U.S. aid agencies and the U.S. Treasury and the White House. And, so we're very sort of metric, yeah. measure, achievement oriented. I think it's worth keeping in mind that the United Nations is itself a sort of global public good in setting norms and in calling for collective action. It has a lot of trouble achieving collective action because you know, we're a messy group of sovereign nations, each one with its own difficult politics, the U.S. particularly right now, honestly. But there's still been all these decades such an important role. So credit to the United Nations and its various agencies. It doesn't mean they can do everything. And the Sustainable Development Goals, they don't, they're not perfect. But I think what's important about them is what Michael was saying, you know, they capture something about a world in which, in principle, we could have more universal sense of where we're, we should be going. I think you just fell off the end of a lot of members of Congress Christmas card list <laughs> talking about the UN. <laughs> How do well, you Well, trying to clarify <laughs> its contribution, you know, and I think it's a mistake to expect everything from the UN, just as it's a mistake to expect everything from the financial institutions that are global, like the IMF and the sure. World Bank.